No one likes rust. It is the enemy of metal and can ruin a nice shiny part in no time at all. The quick change lathe tooling I made was starting to show signs of rust. Last summer I had seen a video on hot bling and shortly thereafter I had to try it. Watch the video posted by My Mechanics Insight on YouTube. I will post a link in the description. I have finally been able to make the time to put my bluing efforts into a short video. First off, you'll want to sand or sandblast the parts, depending on the finish desired. I chose to use sandpaper after touching all the flat surfaces to a sanding belt and removing any surface rust. As mentioned by My Mechanic Insight, use a solvent to remove any oils and residue. The cleaner the parts, the better the outcome. Starting with the largest block, the tool post, and heating it to the required 300 to 400 degrees Celsius. It takes a lot of heat with thick parts. Keep in mind that all my parts are mild steel. You do not want to use heat bluing for any heat treated parts as you will ruin the existing hardness and temper the part. Essentially with heating the steel, the outside is starting to oxidize and when quenched in oil, it creates a very thin rust resistant film. Many gun parts use hot bluing and are dipped in a chemical bath and achieve a much deeper bluing effect. This is where a digital thermometer comes in very handy. I have the temperature pretty much in between 300 to 400 degrees Celsius. I did have a bit of a hard time getting a correct reading at times. Had to point the digital thermometer at different areas to confirm the readings were correct. The part is definitely hot enough and the color is uniform. Time to quench. I used cooking oil as well for my quenching. It's inexpensive and easy to clean up. The best thing is that all the oils can be reused. Moving on to the tool bit holders. All the screws have been removed, holes cleaned of any debris. Due to the parts being much thinner, they didn't take nearly as long to heat up to the required temperature. Getting the right color of the parts seems to be the more difficult thing to achieve. One note of caution, I'm heating the parts on a fire brick. Never use a hot flame on concrete or place a hot item directly on concrete. Concrete has been known to explode when heated to high heats. A few more things to consider. Do not use heat bluing on thin sheet metal parts, it will cause the parts to warp. Large parts require a lot of heat energy and again, be careful not to heat a part that has been heat treated as you will change the molecular grain structure and cause the part to fail. So how did the parts turn out? The main post looks good, however there are a few areas where surface rust has started but this will keep it from rusting further. The tool holders look good but aren't that uniform in color. One holder has a blotch of some kind, not sure if it is because it was sitting on the brick or if it had a residue on it. Keep in mind the film created on the parts is very thin and easily scratched off. 
Of course, if you don't like the outcome, you can sand or sandblast the parts once again and have another try at it. Different lighting appears to affect the colors on the parts. They kind of have a case hardened look to them. Overall, I'm pleased with how the bluing turned out. At least it'll keep the tooling from rusting. I appreciate you tuning in and please consider subscribing so you do not miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.